Are you ready to take your IT skills to the next level? Well, perhaps you've heard about cloud computing and you have no idea what cloud computing is. And equally, it can be very overwhelming to begin your journey in cloud computing without knowing which cloud technology is actually in demand, which cloud technology is optimum, and which one can get you a job after going through. So in today's video, I'll focus detailed on exposing some of the most popular cloud computing technologies and the best strategies which you as a beginner or as someone wants to upskill can use. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel DevOps with Mike. The focus of today's video is giving you ideas on which cloud computing platform is best for you to start with. Cloud computing is a rapidly changing field with many technologies coming and many people getting into the cloud market. This video is designed to give you the strategies which you need to be successful and of course, I'll do a little comparison of the different cloud computing platforms that exist and why you should choose particular technology over the other. Cloud computing basically is the provisioning of resources over the internet. When they talk of cloud, we are talking about the provisioning of resources over the internet. When we have one computer connected to the other computer connected to the other computer, forming a network, resources can be provided over that network. As far as cloud computing deployments are concerned, we have the on-premise cloud deployment model, we have the hybrid cloud deployment model and we equally have the full cloud deployment model. Now, for the on-premise, a company might decide to have the infrastructure in a particular building where they interconnect all resources, all computers, all printers and everything in, its, in the private network in the company. That's on-premise. Now, if you want to move some of these resources to the internet and manage these resources over the internet and managing some on the in the company premise, that becomes hybrid. Having some of your resources in the company and having some of them on the cloud. But if a company wants to go full scale on the cloud, having a cloud provider providing all the necessary resources for them to run their infrastructure that now becomes a full cloud deployment strategy over the years there are many companies have invested massively in building technologies and resources which companies can use on the internet to meet their customer requirements services ranges from storage they want to be able to store large chunks of data in terabytes they equally want to be able to manage databases keeping track of who access the site who was able to retrieve data who has been calling out transactions and so on they equally want to make sure that all their resources which are on the internet are secure that gives you the perfect understanding of what cloud computing is and what you should be looking forward to when getting into the cloud computing field now getting the cloud computing field there are some key job openings which i can recommend you should have at the back of your mind because you can get in as an enthusiast who just want to upskill their it knowledge if you are getting into cloud computing because you want to change your career you want to look out to either becoming a cloud solutions architect or you want to become a cloud engineer or you want to become a cloud security engineer or you want to become a cloud devops engineer these are some of the job opportunities you can think about when getting yourself into a cloud computing space if you have not yet subscribed please subscribe to the channel and let's dive right in the various cloud providers the very first cloud computing platform is the amazon web service aws amazon web service is one of the flagship projects of amazon and amazon web service is one of the biggest players in the cloud market the reason why most people start their journey with amazon web service is because it has a wide range of services which many companies are actually using for every service you want to think of storage compute database security, management, governance, Amazon has, and Amazon is currently deploying more and more services. They have services on machine learning and artificial intelligence. They are even deploying services in cryptocurrencies. In fact, any service you want to think of, Amazon has maybe probably already deployed or are currently deploying those services. So many people start with Amazon because they have a wide range of services. And as you learn these services, you become relevant to many companies. You're not tying yourself to a particular technology because Amazon keeps improving. And once you may be familiar with one Amazon service, you can easily learn the other services. Another reason why you want to start your journey with Amazon Web Services is because they have an extensive documentation of all their services. Amazon has the AWS documentation where you can have extensive information about all their services. And also, if you are a new user, Amazon has the AWS free tier so the free tier account is an opportunity for new users to get into the amazon space and for one year play around amazon web services you can actually go on amazon website and you create a free tier account and start your journey with the aws cloud and equally they have other free programs aws skill builder which you can use to strategically learn from one service 
to the other the second platform is microsoft azure a lot of you may have already used microsoft office package where you've created documents with microsoft word or you've created presentations in microsoft powerpoint or perhaps you are currently doing your balances with microsoft excel now microsoft azure provide the key services on the cloud database storage and compute those services are there and microsoft azure equally gives you the free tier account which you have to do your practices one advantage of microsoft azure is its dynamic integration with already existing technologies like office 365 or dynamic 365 microsoft azure can be a good and a quick start for people who are already familiar with the microsoft office package microsoft azure gives you the ability to start and grow faster because there are a lot of people reading Amazon Web Service and perhaps you might be wondering or maybe you have been thinking of a cloud that is not too saturated. I don't want to say Amazon Web Service is already saturated, but Microsoft Azure doesn't have a lot of experts already in it. So if you want to get into a cloud technology, a cloud platform where you'll be very relevant and very high in demand, you want to start your journey with Microsoft Azure. The third platform which we'll be discussing in this video is the Google Cloud Platform, GCP. GCP is renowned for their machine learning and artificial intelligence investment. Google Cloud also provides database services, storage services, and compute services, but they've had extensive investments in artificial intelligence and in machine learning. So one reason why you may be considering getting to Google Cloud, perhaps as a developer or as someone who is interested in machine learning or artificial intelligence in the future, you might want to start your journey with Google Cloud. Now, GCP also offers free tier for new users and you want to make sure you're taking advantage of that free tier to get familiar with their services. The job opportunities, of course, for Google Cloud are almost the same like that of Microsoft Azure because they are a little comparatively less enthusiast or less experts in Google Cloud compared to Microsoft Azure and Amazon Web Service, which gives you the opportunity to get started. So to wrap up this video, which cloud platform is right for you it depends on your specific needs and your specific goals if you're already familiar using the microsoft office pack maybe microsoft office 365 or dynamic 365 starting with microsoft azure might be a good fit for you now if you are a machine learning enthusiast or an artificial intelligence expert or you're looking forward to building a career or you're looking forward to extensively understanding artificial intelligence and machine learning then the google cloud platform or gcp is or might be an ideal choice for you and lastly if you are looking forward to joining a large community of experts and playing with a wide variety of services then the amazon web service cloud start can be best suited for you like i said it all depends on your specific needs and the goals which you want to achieve while engaging in the cloud journey thank you for watching this video to the end if you have not yet subscribed to the channel please do hit the subscribe button we have a very interesting package for you you want to go to the channel description to join our devops community where we share information cheat sheets important techniques or we just literally share everything devops in our slack community so hit the channel description and you will join our devops community if you equally want me to have one-on-one -one mentorship call with you you want to go to our channel description and schedule an interview or schedule a demo preparation or schedule a consultation call with you and let's build and let's grow together see you in our next video